Goetia, Santa Muerte, and Cronus. <clears throat> now, the Goetia is um, also entitled Lesser Key of Solomon, and it appears to be based on these um, demons that he controls. If you look at the names in this Goetia of these um, entities, they don't exactly match what's in the Testament of Solomon out of, out of the Pseudepigrapha. But um, that's not a surprise because these names tend to vary quite a bit. But there were probably more of these entities than 72 that Solomon was dealing with. But anyway, as I was reading through this Testament of Solomon, I found a very, very interesting description of a female demon named Inepsicos. She had two heads <clears throat> and um, her th thwarting angels, Wrath and Nail. And um, what I found very interesting is when King Solomon questioned her, she said that she can appear as Kronos to wise men. <clears throat> And at other times, um, something else, as a goddess. She can appear as a goddess. Now, this smacks of the Santa Muerte in Mexico. That's some kind of entity they're worshiping, holding a sigh. The sigh is the symbol of Kronos. But this is a female entity, and... Um, Holding, she's holding the symbol of Kronos, and um, she's considered death. And uh, I don't know. They dress her up in different colors and do prayer and trying, you know, for different things. Um, some may compare her to the Aztec god uh, Mictlantecochtli, but. Um, this thing sounds very similar to what's in this Testament of Solomon. So let me read this. Uh, by what angel are you thwarted? She responded to me, what are you after? What do you want? I can change my appearance, first being taken for a goddess and then becoming one who has some other shape. In this regard, do not expect to know all things about me, but because you are here, in my presence, listen to this. I hover near the moon, and because of this, I assume three forms. At times, I am conjured up as Kronos by the wise men. At other times, I descend around those who bring me down and appear in another form. The capacity of the heavenly body is invincible, incalculable, and impossible to thwart. At any rate, changing into three different forms, I also descend and become like what you see. I am thwarted by the angel Rathanael, who takes his seat in the third heaven. On account of this, therefore I say to you, this temple cannot contain me. And that's, her name is Anepsicos. I've told you that these demons are shown as androgynous because they're, um, some of them may be male and some may be female. These are ancient Phoenicians. Um, they're controlled with these sigils and these opposing angels and this uh, seal, of Sol uh, seal of Solomon or what really is um, the star of Refan or the star of um, Kronos. Now, um, Refan is uh, mentioned in the Bible. And um, it's also... Um, called, it's the Hebrew Chan, or Kiwan, Kiwan, and um, it is the old Babylonian Kiawanu, or the planet Saturn, so um, it's considered an idol, and um, the star of your God, whose image you made to worship, is Repham, so I found something on this um, Mexican witchcraft. Uh, it was a video, and um, it talked about 
all of the uh, things going on in Mexico. And what's interesting is one of these brujas, I guess, bruja would be female, this was a man, um, uses this symbol of the hexagram and then astrology symbols, which are Greek gods and goddesses, in his advertisement. So I'm going to pull out this screenshot and show you. Yeah, if you look closely at the screenshot, you can see um, Kronos in the center. So um, they use this, and, and the seal is all over the place in the Hollywood movies and uh, videos out of the music industry. And um, all of these people in Hollywood and the music industry keep talking about how they sold their soul and they have these entities that are helping them out. Rain Man is one of them. But um, you've got to look at who owns these industries, and most of them are Jews, and uh, they benefit from this. This, is, this um, practice comes from the Jews, and um, this is um, something they pass on. They write down all of these entities that they deal with, and they use these sigils to control them and... and um, get them to do what they want and make a pact with them. And um, all of these ent main entities have legions or numerous entities that have to do what they say. So there again, when you play around with this stuff, it's said that in the end you become the slave of the entity that you gain favor from. So this is, you know, this is their game. This is their system. And, um, Unfortunately, it's permeated all over the world, and um, the symbols are the same because it's the same entities out of ancient Phoenicia that they're calling up and um, trying to influence and control people with and gain riches and power from. So I think there is a commonality between these Goetic demons that um, the Jews were playing around with and other people were playing around with, and... Um, some of these uh, entities that are, you know, definitely get worshipped over in Mexico and other places, and the symbols all over. And like I said, you know, it's it's the same sigils that they invoke and control and release with. And Crowley was into it. Um, you know, why choose a hexagram? You know, why are the symbols the same? Because it's the same entities. <clears throat> okay, that's my talk on. Um, Goetia, Santa Morte, and Cronus. Thank you.